Hey everybody, welcome to Angel Dogs Tarot. This is my new series of readings where I am looking at angel signs, messages coming in from the universe that are asking us to pay attention to something that the universe is trying to tell us or our angels are trying to tell us. And we're just going to explore the deeper meaning based on the energy that I'm picking up at this point in time. I'm drawn today to work with uh, dragonflies. Dragonflies are not a sign for me personally that has appeared really at all in my energy journey and yet suddenly they're starting to show up um i have a pisces channel which link will be down below if you have pisces uh, significant placements or just vibe with the pisces energy and the dragonfly keeps showing up like repeatedly so i really want to explore that i hope that you enjoy this reading um we're going to go into the deeper meaning of why that dragonfly might be showing up for you in this particular card deck, the dragonfly symbolizes evolution, adaptation and growth. And when they fly into your life, whether they're just in cards, in readings or for real, um, you're being asked to adapt to circumstances. So change is coming, whether you like it or not. And it's not a tower element change. It's not this sudden and unexpected change. It's just like a, a wave of transition. And I'm also really drawn to the fact that you have to be an evolved soul to be here in this message um, and the reason that for that particularly is I felt very drawn to bring out these cards which I'll use at the end the beyond Lemuria cards they only come out in readings for evolved souls and um, also at the end of the message right at the end of the message I've got these fortune uh, telling uh, cards where you can I will give you uh, three answers to any three questions you want to ask the universe so you can adapt this message for yourself so um, the dragonfly is here to help you. It upholds your um, integrity, your flexibility, your faith in the process that is unfolding for you. And they can fly in any direction. So they can be incredibly adaptable, even in really strong winds, even in really strong air, um, air pressure changes, currents. So there is a change that is going to ask you and need you to be really flexible. And I've got these sea soul journey cards. So be really, really in tune with going with the flow, going with the flow of your life as well. So um, what's going to be showing up for you? What can you learn from it? Um, enjoy it. That's the real message that's coming through here. And I've got these dragons kind of supporting the yin and the yang, the, um, the earth star chakra, the, the um, galactic star chakra, everything in between. There's a, there's, a, there's a real transformation going on for you here in this energy. We have got receive. Wow. May you know that you are worthy of the gift. You know, in this morning's Pisces reading, there was um, the energy of gifts coming in, which is incredible. And ease, may it be effortless. Wow. Okay, so uh, for this reading, you are going to be experiencing change. You are protected. Wow. And in case you're feeling a little bit uneasy about the change, you're protected, so feel at ease with it. And we have got change. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I've actually noticed I've got these two cards up from this morning's reading. We had duality and alignment. I feel like they want to be here. Um, so over on Pisces, it was very much about you coming into alignment with your purpose, where you're able to um, bring together the spiritual and the spiritual and the earth elements of your life and marry the two to move forward. And that requires a lot of adaptability. Um working with energy as work as well as working with the material world is not something that people are really used to like they're becoming more and more attuned or, or wanting to do that that the, uh, the lights just changed here um and let me just sort that out quickly no okay it is on auto light so i'm just going to roll with this because when the light shifts it means that Perhaps you're coming or you've been in a period of darkness and you're about to come out into something um, more um, highlighted, lightened, enlightened. So let us explore this. We're going to start with a couple of tarot cards. Okay, we have got the Ten of Swords and the Hermit. I feel like this is past energy and I think this is present energy. We've got the Lovers and the Five of Swords. You've been going through a process of um, going within um, introspection, perhaps even actually re withdrawing, physically withdrawing from people unless you have to be around them, but definitely emotionally withdrawing and doing a lot of processing, um, doing a lot of uh, understanding who you are, dealing with energy that perhaps has caused you pain in the past, 
um, withdrawing yourself from people who you feel might stab you in the back or give you pain, um, really finding the sovereignty of being yourself, um, learning how to protect yourself through your boundaries, coming into alignment with your purpose. And a lot of that is a solo journey. So that has been happening in the past. I think you've also been needing to open yourself to receive, to understand how to receive because change is coming and that is positive change. It's amazing. It's flowing. It's not just a one-off event. I think your whole life is actually really fundamentally transforming. And that is because you are beginning to show up with more ease, more love of yourself, more understanding of um, making choices to be with people who actually really nourish you as much as you nourish them and being really discerning, being really clear about those decisions. So the lovers is a cloud of choice and the five of swords can be about um, indecision. But this is just saying you have um, perhaps got a little bit of indecision about who to trust. Um, you know, when somebody shows up and says that they love you, do they really love you? Um, and that that isn't a romantic um issue here it can be but the energy that is coming through it just is in general um you really want to meet like or be with like-minded souls and rabbits are very community orientated um a lot of people who claim to be friends aren't very friendly there, there's a lot of jealousy or there's a lot of um backstabbing that can go on amongst people um where they their ego kind of gets the better of them and they move away from love and not towards love you've become very adaptable you've also become or becoming very um able to navigate energy that doesn't work for you um and you're really discerning about your choices you're you're actually being able to really make choices about who you want to be around people wise partners wise friends uh romantic partners if that's relevant to you um you're just starting to become easier and easier and easier with yourself and also very much more discerning about who you want energetically around you um this change is going to bring a lot more people to you there's no two ways about it with this dragonfly and the adaptability and this wave of change that's coming. When you have a wave of change, you're attracting people and those people are all going to come with, um, you know, elements of wanting themselves to be heard. Um, and I think you're becoming more flexible in how you handle that because you're more certain about who you are and you're more, more certain about how to protect your boundaries through speaking your truth, helping other people to come into alignment with themselves. Okay, charms we have got. Wow. Huh. Wow. We have got a red apple and we've got a little love heart charm. I don't think either of these charms have, have ever come out here, but there's a grounding of love. There's a, there's a, there's a, um, having your cake and eating it is coming through. It's like the, the, the juicy red apple that's plucked from the tree. We're going back to, you know, some of the oldest biblical stories here where, um, you know that the apple might have a symbolism of of deception or people who who haven't got your best interests at heart and yet actually it's one of the most beautiful gifts from nature that we could have possibly been given the ease and the and the taste and the and the beauty of an apple um, an apple a day keeps the doctor away an apple a day keeps um energy away that you don't want and here we've got love coming in we've got this real energy i'm getting actually that nature is protecting you with this dragonfly i'm, I'm getting this l hug of love coming from nature and the love actually of who you are um, and a purpose that you are here for which is to help bring more humans into alignment with um the kindness happy gentle kind and clever energy okay more dragonfly information please please dragonfly spirit tell us why you are here some more help I'm going to move that up slightly we have got here friendship yeah okay seek your soul family surround yourself with positive people spend more time socializing wow okay there is look at this lovely little red squirrel going on in here there is a real invitation to participate I'm sorry I'm just going to call it out here but that looks like I'm gonna say it look, I was gonna say it looks like a tadpole, but it also looks like something that might come out of a, a masculine appendage. Um you're forming new friendships. Your your dragonfly energy is gonna bring in more people. That's why the dragonfly is showing up. You're coming out of hermit mode and you're going to be interacting with a lot more people. Intuition. Use your intuition about who is actually really showing up to help you as opposed to take from you. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use I need my glasses on. Excuse me, two secs. Use 
div divination tools to help you decide, trust your intuition no matter what. You'll know, you'll know whether somebody's showing up in an energy that is about working with you or whether they're showing up with an energy that is about taking from you. And you're going to get a lot of that coming in. OK, lots of people are going to show up and say, do you want my juicy red apple? Come and come and hang out with me. And you're just like, mm, I don't want a bite of your apple. I want a bite of that person's apple. You're going to have all of these choices and you're going to make them with ease because you really, really, really learn to trust your intuition. OK, so open your arms, receive, receive the love that comes in with new people and just be clear, be clear about who you are and what you want. Um, and you're very evolved. You're very, very evolved and you're very adaptable and you're going through or you're ready for a period of growth. And that period of growth is bringing you into alignment with your purpose, um, doing things that you love with people that you love, with nature um, and um, perhaps even helping other people to change. And I'd say the trick here is um, just don't give anything of yourself to anyone who doesn't deserve it. Valiant courage, take action with passion. Yeah, you're, tr you're shifting. And we've got fellow travelers, support is all around you. What a beautiful energy. Um, we're on um, Angel Dog's Tarot. I'm not actually working directly with Toby the Oracle Dog today, but here he is. Here is his energy. And I'm sure we had a peacock energy in yesterday as well. Um, or might, might have been in Pisces. So the right people who have the right gifts, the right display, the right energy for you are going to show up. Um, they're on their way in. I'm going to do an Angel Dogs Tarot spread now. So what is the core energy around this message? What do we really, really want the dragonflies to help you with? So that is, actually those are the two foundation energies. We've got that one in the middle, that one, that one. Oh, right. I'm not sure about those. So let me just shuffle again. That's definitely one of them. And that one there. Okay, so at the heart and center then, change is coming. There are gonna be lots of new people. Like some of them are gonna be amazing. Some of them are not because that's the way the world is. Um, but your intuition is really going to guide you on that. And I think the thing is, before you might have um, got quite impacted by people that didn't have your best interests at heart. Now, I think you just like you'll just you'll just know with ease who you want to interact with and who you don't. OK, so the heart and centre, eight of wands. Yeah, shifts are happening. Messages are coming in. People are getting in touch with you. Um, people want to know what you're doing. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of change. There's a lot of speed. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of messages inbound. There's a lot of communication. People are wanting to tune into you. They're wanting to tune into what you're doing. And that is every time you get connected, there's going to be choices. There's going to be decisions to be made. Um, do you want to interact in a certain way or not? Foundational energy. Five of Wands, and that. So, these are for those of you who haven't done this. Is an Angel Dog Star spread. This is your uh, material energy. This is your emotional energy. This is your spiritual energy, and this is what your mind thinks. So, your thinking, and this is what your intuition knows. Okay, so your mind um, is worried and has been fed up of conflict, fed up of being in groups where there's more conflict than collaboration and communication as opposed to and, um, and no lack of communication, lack of cooperation. So your mind was just like, I'm not having this anymore in my life. And your intuition was like, yeah, we want the, the page is my new favorite energy in all readings because it is about getting the joy back in life. You're just like, come on, let's have fun doing things like let your intuition is just like there's more to life than conflict. Look over the fence and chat to your neighbor. You know, look that everybody's got the same green grass either side. Let's just be more enthusiastic about what we do. Emotionally. So that was your foundational energy and the material world fed up with conflict, want better. Um, in your emotions, your emotions needed to go through a process of awakening, of um, your mind realizing that you had choices, that your mind realizing that those choices are entirely up to you. A lot of self-realization, a lot of reflection, a lot of um, giving yourself permission to blow your own trumpet, to, to really own your capability. And we've got another page, which I adore your intuition. We're saying, look, we want more fun. Emotionally, we need more fun. Um, we want to hang out and play with people that give us lots and lots of emotional um, top up. And we we want to attract those people into our life. Um, and you're not you're prepared to stand up for yourself. 
emotionally and you're prepared to um, call in that energy as well. So emotionally, you're ready to call in the energy of um, people that you can have fun with. And then spiritually, wow. Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles and we got the Fool. Spiritually, you're you're in a place of self mastery. You're actually mastered your spiritual aspects. You're bringing into alignment your duality and um, your purpose. And you've been through a big period of self mastery. You are a master craftsman and your head now at actually listening to your intuition. And your intuition is like, we're ready for this new start. We're ready now to, to allow energy to flow in. We're allow, you're going to allow where you've been in hermit mode and keeping people out. You're now allowing your doors to open to fellow travelers to come in and work with you. Um, your it's a it's a big deal to open the door. It's a strong thing to do to let people in to in, to come in and interact with your energy, um, and people will be attracted to your energy. People who um, want to feed off your energy will be attracted to your energy. People who want to support you will come to you as well. And you just have to adapt. Now that is the time. The dragonfly is saying you're ready. You're ready for this. Um, if you come up across somebody like the dragonfly, can go in all directions, up, down, round by. And you come up with somebody that you don't want to be around, you just go up, down, around, and the dragonfly just goes around them, goes above them. <laughs> the dragonfly just carries on flying with strength and determination. Okay, uh, let's get a couple more of these unicorns, I think, and then we'll just finish off because I just want these to be kind of short and sweet and informative. So, any more unicorns want to come out? No? Maybe they don't. I think that one there does. There we go. That's the right two. Okay, a couple more unicorns, and then we'll get one of these Beyond Lumura cards. We've got Healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. Okay, that might really really resonate for some of you, bringing into alignment the duality of the, of the world. Um, healing doesn't mean necessarily energy healing. It's just showing up with compassion. Showing up with compassion and love heals other people's um, internal um, workings. Like fear destroys our bodies. Um, love heals our bodies. So turning up with love, love for life, love for nature, love for all the gifts that are out there is healing in its own right. But some of you actually might be moving into a purpose or bringing yourself into alignment with a purpose or at least a way of being that is healing. And we have got trust. Beautiful. Leap into the unknown, have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. OK, that is the full card again. All right. You are protected. You're in alignment with your purpose. You're bringing in your spiritual and your material gifts. You're understanding the emotional element that sits in between that, which is where your um, your intuition and your mind come together and work together is through your feelings. Changes are coming. That's what the dragonfly is here to tell you, um, that changes are coming. You will find yourself at speed. Um, needing to adapt to things but you will because you know yourself well enough okay I'm going to finish off with um, first of all I'm actually going to get two Beyond the Mirror cards um, let's see what they want to say and then my final um, uh, part of this reading for you will be to ask any questions of the dragon for yourself and I'll explain that in a moment no not that one there it is there that one there okay so Again, glasses on. We have got fire, solar, sublime. We live in a dualistic word world. Of course we do. <laughs> Bring light and dark, <laughs> wow, into balance. And being real with our humanness can, al can allow us to reach more joy, authenticity and depth. By accepting and loving all of ourselves as we are, we can extend more of this love and have greater compassion for others. This painting... Look at that. We've got a black and white dragon. I never even looked at that. That's incredible. Except they're on the other side. Oh, my goodness. Wow. This painting portrays the balanced dance of creation. As the dragons come together, they dissolve into one with all that is. And in this place of coalescence, both sides fuse in oneness, not just as a re-emerging with the universe, but in an alchemical process of becoming the empowered creative force we truly are. That is spellbinding. Look at that. I mean, uh, the power of cards is is unbelievable. 
And here we have got this beautiful energy here, the solar plexus chakra, radiate illumination. The solar plexus chakra is the radiant center of your being. It holds the vibrant spark that brings you your passions to life. Enter this space to step away from playing small, unworthiness, and the idea that you're taking up space and insecurity-based competitiveness. Allow yourself to be attuned to the abundant life force that resides in your center and be energized, motivated, and fueled with inspiration. Bring forth more of what you wish to birth in the world. As you discover a deep and real sense of self-empowerment, you can confidently lift others in celebration, harmonizing differences and shifting hierarchical paradigms into collective co-creation. What were we saying? No more com competition, um, more collaboration. Wow. What a powerful, powerful reading. That is astonishing. Okay, I'm just going to clear a little bit of space here now for the final part of the reading, which is your chance to ask questions of the dragonfly energy. I'm going to pull three cards. These are yes, no, or maybe answers. Um, they are um, designed for you to ask a question and the answer will be on this. So if you wanna pause, press pause now, otherwise I'm gonna give you a three second or three, three thing countdown, three number countdown. Um, so press pause and ask a question of the dragonfly energy. Um, uh, maybe write it down or just think about what it is and the answer from the dragonfly. I'm going to turn this over in three, two, one. The answer from the dragonfly to your question is yeah. OK, so your second question, chance to ask a second question of the dragonfly energy about your certain specific circumstances. And I'm going to give you the answer to that. Again, it's a yes, no, or maybe answer. Three, two, one. It's conceivable. And then for your third and final question, ask the dragonfly energy uh, anything that you want to. And the answer from the dragonfly, three, two, one, is not possible. OK, I hope they help. I hope they resonate. Um, take them if they feel like they're good for you. Trust your intuition. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. If it feels right, it is right. OK, that is the depth of the message from the dragonfly um things are rolling forward for you big changes coming they're going to be amazing they feel very they feel very like there's a big wave of change lots of little things happening lots of people coming towards you um you're ready for it they wouldn't be coming if you're not ready for it um you might have a little bit of lack of trust of certain people or how people want to show up for you, but you're being protected. You're in alignment with yourself. You're very much in alignment with your intuition. Trust that you will know. Trust that you will be able to be really clear about um, how to protect yourself and how you do and don't want to expend your energy and have an amazing time. You're very adaptable and you're totally ready for something new. What a beautiful message. I really hope this helps. Take care. Bye.